Hello YouTube, this is Dark Emissary 617 and for it's been a while so um in the mail at today I got a package from Walmart as you can guess because this is my review of the Walmart exclusive Funko Pops of Star Wars Rebels the Inquisitors. One of them is of course the Grand Inquisitor there. Seventh sister and fifth brother. I guess they just called um, Grand Inquisitor the Inquisitor for easier sake and named the other two because that's actually their names. And if they just called them all Inquisitor, it'd been confusing, I'm guessing. So, I guess without further ado, I'm gonna just show you the boxes quickly first off of each of them. As you can see here, and Grand Inquisitor is number 166 in the Star Wars Rebels line. And you get a nice picture of the Inquisitor. And on the back it just shows you the rest of the Rebels. Which is just all the ones that just came out. Then there's of course, not really going to show the rest per se, just the numbers. So yeah, seventh sister is uh, number one sixty-seven, and fifth brother is um, number one sixty-eight. And as you see here, they all have the only available at Walmart. Dot Walmart stickers. I had to buy them off Walmart.com because I don't really have any WalMarts nearby me. So. Without further ado, let's go take a look at each of our Inquisitors. Let's start off with the Grand Inquisitor. He looks very cool, I gotta say. I just love all the paint on his head with the red stripes and the glaring eyebrows look good. He has the glaring yellow eyes. And his outfit is very detailed. I love it. Each of the Inquisitor in each of the Inquisitors come with these special made lightsabers that they use in order to go hunt down and assassinate any of the remaining Jedi that still exist in the galaxy. So, getting a good view of everyone. You have your little stand that each character comes with. And, of course, they can come off the stand. And, believe it or not, he can indeed stand on his own without it. So, that was the Grand Inquisitor. Over here, let's take a good look at Seven's sister. She's the only female Inquisitor, and I love how she turned out. She looks nice. She has her pointy nose there, and she has the red spots on her face, which actually is how her, she looked like in the show. And she has a similar outfit, kind of, but it's more feminine because she's a girl, of course. My lightsaber came out a little warped on her, but she still looks very nice. She looks quite regal for a villain, actually. I like it. And she comes off her base as well. And can she stand on her own? No, she can't. That seems to be a problem with female Funkos. They tend to have a lot of trouble standing. And last and certainly not least is Fifth Brother. And he's cool. I like him. I like the his uh, very darkish olive almost green skin. And he has the pale eyes. And he just looks so cool. I like his helmet. And he has his lightsaber also in his left hand. Oddly enough, I mean right hand. Only um, Grand Inquisitor had it in his left hand. Which is interesting. He has a very nice outfit, as always. Looks very cool. And there's his base. He can come off it as well. And he can stand. It's only the female that had trouble standing, of course. Unfortunately, because of how skinny the design is and all that. And since I just so happen to have the figure with me, I guess, here's a little fun comparison of Fifth Brother with his, um, three and three quarter inch, uh, figure. And you can see the similarities were quite well captured in this design. Yeah, they did a very good job at capturing the likeness. So there you have it. 
that is my review of the Walmart exclusive Funko Pops of the Inquisitors. With Grand Inquisitor, 7th Sister, and 5th Brother. If you find them online, they, might, they may or may not be still available at Walmart.com. Or you go to a store and find them. I more than enough highly recommend you pick them up. So that was my review of the Walmart exclusive Star Wars Rebels Funko Pops of the Inquisitors. This is Dark Emissary 617 signing out.